This episode is sponsored by Etsy. Everybody knows that I love to shop on Etsy for beautifully made items from independent sellers. Why? Because I am an independent woman. Etsy sellers have gifts, style, and home pieces like rugs and sofas, as well as outerwear and accessories. You can shop jackets, jewelry, furniture, art, and more made for every budget and any occasion. Personally, I'm always on the lookout for my next decor piece on Etsy as I continue to spruce up my new home. I literally just ordered a ginormous pictorial Turkish rug to go under my new kitchen table. You won't even be able to see it. It's crazy. Are you new to Etsy? Use the code NEW for 10% off your first purchase. That's code N-E-W. Maximum discount, value of $50. Offer ends June 30th, 2023. See terms at etsy.com slash terms. For home style and gifts, shop etsy.com. Etsy has it. We should do like a 2000s gay podcast where we're like, pussy, gross. Do you know how that was like the whole thing? <laughs> oh, we the whole call, thing was we that call being it gay. Gold star gay. Yeah, the whole thing was that you were gay and that you were like, I love to touch your titties. I love titties. But then yeah, they'd yeah, be yeah. like, pussy, gross. Disgusting. <laughs> Ew, fishy smell. Pee, you. Yeah, girl, no, I don't like to eat. Fish. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't know what that was. Um, I'm going to snap your whale tail. I'm going to snap your whale tail. Your mm. whale tail. I'm going to snap it like a slingshot and say, gross pussy. Let me feel on your titty. Oh my God, your pussy. <laughs> well, t- listen, you have a pussy and you don't have a cock. So <laughs> I'm gay and I'm not going to fuck your pussy <laughs> because that's gross. <laughs> Unless, Diva, you need help with your hair and makeup. makeup. We're going out tonight, girl. What is that, a size four? You wish, wish you bitch. Be- you look like a whale. Like, I don't know why that, like, era of gay was, like, very mean. It was, it, it was despicable. It's despicable. Uh, yeah, it's, it's despicable. really crazy. Oh, you fat cunt. Yeah, you're looking a little big. <laughs> like, what is that? Like, but don't, don't turn around. Let me look at those titties, those huge, gorgeous tits. And even like, um, you know, I love Will and Grace, and I'm rewatching from the beginning. And this has nothing fat to do jokes. with that. Fat the jokes. The number of fat jokes about Will is so great. It's so funny. Well, I guess it's, is it funny because he's not fat? It's funny because Jack is so superficial that he thinks a completely normal body is fat. Oh, okay, okay. Because okay, Jack, okay, the okay, character, okay. is constantly like in the gym or like on a diet and or, trying to be skinny. That's so funny to me. No, this is New York in the '90s, so it was like. I think it was like muscles. Oh. That's why everyone's in like a tight ribbed V-neck sweater. Oh my God. I wish the, early, the early 2000s is fucking rotten. And this is not part of that. I'm thinking of, I don't even want to say what it is, but a lot of other gay representation was like, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> honey, if we're going to be best friends, we have to get your highlights. Like, I don't, <laughs> and it wasn't about the gayness, but the gayness attached to the meanness, uh-huh. attached to being disgusted by like, Ew, with, pussy. With, yeah, like, what's, what is what's that? With the, what's with this? Um, I'm curious about this. Go. I. It was. I'm lucky that I haven't had to evolve on it. It's always seemed bizarre from the beginning. What is this? Gold star gay. I don't know. Gold star gay. I have no. I have had no physical dealings with a with a a, a female. I'm not even my mother. It's so crazy. It's so gross. It's so stupid. How many, how many stars do I get if even gay men won't fuck me? Thank you. Thank you. Although last night, she and I oh, hung yeah. out last night did she and i you and i she and i hung, hung out. out last night my yeah. favorite thing about you living by me and having a car mm-hmm. is that i get a ride yeah love. yeah yeah love. i haven't gotten us into an accident no no and you could have i could have um should have we went to andrew's cabaret last night at plaza yeah. here yeah. in hollywood right here in the heart of hollywood on la brea which is a very fun place to go it's fabulous and it's, it's a little giving major jacques vibes it's I almost major, said it last night. Major, major. Jacques wishes, by the way. It's a lot. Oh, the layout's better. The than layout's Jacques. way better. It's more user friendly. The one thing that the plaza does not have, which they are in desperate need of, is a follow spot. 100%. A follow spot. They desperate. almost, for Andrew shows, I'm like, they desperate. almost should rent one and just use it no, that shit. night. Desperate need of a follow spot. Big time. Although it's tough because you need to be on, you need to be up, propped up a little bit. And it's a very low ceiling. Like Jacques, but it's very low ceiling. It's lower than Jacques, even. Uh, I can I almost touch that ceiling. Yeah, you can. Uh, yeah, I think. Jocks is low too, though. You're it's right. It's a very low ceiling. But anyways, they need a follow spot. But yeah, spectacular show. 
It was so fun. We got to see Macy Rodman perform. We got yeah. to see Andrew. Yeah. I feel bad because I didn't catch the name of everybody, mostly because the host, Andrew, didn't say everyone's name. <laughs> right? So I don't right? totally know. Well, we had Alyssa Hooper Lords, um, Julian, um, a.k.a. Brock Banks, a.k.a. Alyssa Lords, all the way from the palace in Miami, Florida. And girl, you and I were gooning because she, <laughs> was, she was doing the this only. This joy has liberated. This joy has liberated. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. And that type of drag number. It's gone all the way. It's sort of like it's things are funny on the third time, the but it comes back around to 11. It comes all the way back. It's, it, I've started yeah. really enjoying and laughing at, yeah. laughing at not not like bad. No. Those numbers make me laugh. Yeah. Like whip crack drag numbers just like make me laugh. It's it's crazy. It's almost like it's it's so it's a discussion about, 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 about like it's so um meta. Mm -hmm. It's like it's so I think you're. Our experience is so pulled away so many times. It's like it's hard even to re like really objectively look at it. It's very also, funny. Julian Brock does not. W we get in drag to look sexy. He doesn't have to look and get in drag to look sexy. No. So he is a brave marine for participating. <laughs> He's basically like um, most people that hot. I think would be not trying to do anything to compromise the image of hotness. Mm -hmm. In a lot of ways, drag is going to shatter that illusion for people. Yeah. And I like that he's like, yeah. No, I'm really hot, but I also <laughs> dress like a woman and whip my hair. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, he's um he's very fascinating because he's a uh, he is he do he used he usually does shave his beard. Mm. You know, and when he does shave his beard, he looks very sexy. Yeah. Very, yeah. very, very female sexy. Very, very woman sexy. And he's also very sexy out of drag. Obviously, he's a porn star. Um, but yeah, he's uh, he does those turns those little palace looks, those little those little fucking um, those little Miami. Yeah, and it's um, love the hair though. He does he doesn't have a lot of my hair. I do know that. Yeah, I was very inspired by the show because it was apocalypse themed. Mm -hmm. Well, first it was four twenty blazing. Oh yeah, and then it switched to the apocalypse. Then it switched to the apocalypse, and there was an air horn. Um, there was a um. There was a, a red alert. What do you call that? Um, Amber alert. Uh, Amber alert. What do you call that on the phone? Yeah, yeah. You Attention. in 2019? Att <laughs> That's what I call it. Attention. It is the apocalypse. Yeah. <laughs> and at first, it's funny because you and I got there as good supporting friends at eight on the dot when the doors opened. <laughs> and Eden's working the door and we walk in and there's no one in there. <laughs> and I could tell like, just because we're there, Andrew's like, P people come. Andrew's like, they'll, they'll shuffle in. And of course I knew they would, but when yeah. they did come in, yeah. you could tell Andrew was like a little relieved, <laughs> yeah. you know, cause everybody, it's, yeah. of course it's all faggots in Hollywood. They're going to yeah. wait till the last second last to walk second. in there. Yeah. It filled up in the last 10 minutes. In last 10 minutes. And also it filled up with a, uh, you throw a bag and you just, it would just hit someone very gorgeous and sexy. It was crazy. It's crazy. Talk about it. Talk about it. Would you please, would you please expound upon it? Would you please explain it to the audience? Would you please tell them? Tell them please. <laughs> <laughs> my eyes were almost bulging out of my head. There's, of course, people are hot when you're like, he's hot. But the beyond version of that. But the beyond version. Hold on. The, the beyond version of that is when people are so hot that they're just like works of art. I know. And they're just. There was a guy at the end of our table. I know he does porn. He was sitting behind us at the end of the table facing us. I know he does porn. Michael it's, Boston or Porphy. The bottoming guy. Michael They're Boston. All bottom. Michael yeah. Boston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In person, I'm just like, my God, you were made for porn. Yeah. His like full lips, full yeah. cheeks, bushy eyebrows, brick jaw. I'm like, yeah. you were made for gooning. Yeah. You were made for. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and if you weren't going to do porn, you were going to be a very distracting temp at an office. Yes. Yeah. Because like you were just made to be beautiful. I know. It's and crazy. I get so excited seeing these porn people in real life because they just are gorgeous it's so they deliver it's, in it, person unlike they drag queens no uh, yeah they, <laughs> you know they I mean? deliver they are dhl they are and, fed, yeah you know last time i'm just glad Chirac wasn't there because normally when i see Chirac, my i just i'm like <laughs> like turn into like i don't know putty yeah putty with cum on it yeah <laughs> it's like really gross but and then pete was sitting next to us mm -hmm. and andrew gets on stage and is telling the story about like first time i did smoked marijuana i made pete smoke it mm -hmm. and pete's like woo woo yeah and i really forgot oh my god they know each other from so long ago salt lake City. high school from high school that's crazy to me also do you realize that do you realize the physical evolution that miss andrew has gone through do you have any idea about uh, it she sent me pictures do you have any idea about it yeah body snatchers mm -hmm. body snatchers mm -hmm. body snatchers yeah the swan 2001 the space odyssey a wave a <laughs> waif yeah and then 
it's just crazy to me. I'm not sure that she's the person that everybody thinks she is. Something. Do you know what I mean? Like, I mean, she could have been three or four different people. We still don't know. She could change again. Know. She could change. She's again. in constant metamorphosis. Constant metamorphosis. Um, there are so many hot people there. It was. It was. I almost have to like. You have to. I have to regroup. I have to just get centered, and I have to. I have to touch grass. You have to touch grass. <laughs> there was somebody there that you know that I think is hot, and he was there in person, and I was like, "Oh my god, he's so beautiful." I was like, "He's so fucking even better in person." Yeah. But so many we know. So and what's weird is that any of these guys, I'm like. I would watch porn or have watched porn of all of you. Yeah. But then we also know them and they are nice to I us. Know. It's a really weird thing. It is so strange. And it makes me really aware of when you're that hot, mm -hmm. it really must affect all of your friendships. I, it has to. I, I Yeah. I I mean, it's okay. For example, so I share a studio with Andrew. Andrew is really good friends with like the big, a lot of these porn guys. And I am too. I wouldn't call my, I don't hang out with them by myself, but like I'm friendly with them. You're kind of like a third wheel. Yeah. yeah. Like a, like a, <laughs> like, like a, a third cling. gross, disgusting wheel. Yeah. Like a clinger on her. Yeah. <laughs> like someone who like won't a boot, go home. Like a boot. Yeah. Like a, you know, that the, they put your, uh, the boot on the car when you get Absolutely. too many tickets. I'm the boot. There's four wheels and then you. Yeah. 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 So I like, you know, I'm in the studio one day and I look over and Austin Avery is like bent over with his asshole out. And I had to sit down and I had to like, I had to, I had to like count back from 10. You know, I had to do all those like little exercises because I'm like, okay. Cause I could feel myself spiraling out of control, spiraling out of desires control. Yeah. This is the years ago. And, um, it's just, it's just a lot to like, it's a lot when to they process, it's a lot to process when they bring, when they bring, I don't know what, what, what what's the, well, what is the, the, the in uh, movie star world. Okay. Let's say Pedro Pascal, so beautiful, universally adored. Yeah. I think even the lesbians want him. Right? Yeah, yeah. But in his roles, we get to know the character as a person, and we are only allowed to imagine what they look like naked. Right. Versus this is in the porn opposite. world, these are people who are, for all purposes, way hotter than any movie star you know. Yeah. But because we're given the whole shebang up front, and the imagination is sort of removed, if these people didn't do porn, the fucking person who blew me away last night was a dentist. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The fact that they, I haven't seen them naked. Mm -hmm. There is the mystery that like is mm -hmm. somehow, that's why we love celebrities were like shocking. Their, their selfie, they were photographed by a Chinese spy balloon Madonna in Haiti. Madonna stuns a new selfie. Madonna stuns <laughs> a new selfie. Yes. Wild, girl, wild. Slither. Madonna Slither. Stuns. Madonna stuns a new selfie. <laughs> My, that's a, that's the name Madonna of a lot of the race song. Madonna slithers a new selfie. <laughs> Did you know that there's a bridge <laughs> under Terabithia? Under Terabithia. <laughs> Did you know that there's a bridge under Terabithia and that Madonna has stunned a new selfie? <laughs> but you know what Madonna has? A lust for life. <laughs> but last night, I don't want I don't want to harp on it. But in addition to a fabulous show, we were treated to uh -huh. and um, service that I would I would say that I love the plaza. I would say that the service is how long did it take thorough? you to get it? <laughs> it took me twenty minutes to, to get, get a, a bottle, bottle of water. water. Yeah. And it wasn't a full bar. Word. Twenty minutes. Love it. Every and I go this to a lot Jacques. of shows at Plaza. This is Jacques. This is Jacques. We had Rosa, the bar uh, the, the the waitress and uh, when we used to do Perestroika, one waitress making her way very leisurely. Slowly. Very leisurely, God slowly forbid, around the By the crowd. way, we make money on alcohol sales. God forbid we sell more alcohol. I know. It's like, so nuts. Then again, I order water. But this is, you order water for me, and I'm going to show you the process of getting someone water. Hi, can I have a water? Oh, thank you. That's it. That's it. I'm not asking for a blended margarita. Right. I'm you're not taking, asking you're for taking flaming the bottle. shots. You're taking it. <laughs> like, it's a bottle of water. <laughs> Let's try that again. I'm so thirsty. May I have a bottle of water? <laughs> That's it. That's all there is. <laughs> and I'm getting shots. I'm not asking for a shot ski, a blended drink. Right. Can I have a pink squirrel ice cream drink with a no? No, it's, it's, it's water. water. Just a bottle of water. And by the way, it's all porn people. So half everybody's of them, on G. That's what I'm saying. They're all on drugs. Oh, they're right, not drinking right, right. either. Right. It's right. Full circuit party ish. Little G. My God, absolute beauties. I got to meet Vigiletti. Yes. Yeah. Who, who has remixed Ding Dong? And yeah. he was so nice and so, great. so cool. Perfect so great. skin. Oh my God. Oh, the whole time I was looking at him, I kept thinking, you look good in drag. He does drag. He does. 
I didn't know that. Oh, he does fierce drag. I was like his big round cheeks. I was like he would drag. be beautiful in drag. I didn't oh. know that. You should, oh, I'll show you a picture. He's like so hot in drag. Yeah, gorgeous. So fierce. And then drag. it was four twenty, and they handed me free a thing, and I don't want to be a traitor to my kind because I a am CBD new to marijuana. Joint, a CBD joint, cock and ball what douchery. What the fuck is a CBD it's cock joint? Cock and bullshit douchery. Cock and bullpucky douchery. It's it's nothing. CBD is. It's sucking cock with a condom on. Yes, it is. Thank what are you. we doing? It's it's the it's the. Um, Can I get a non-alcoholic beer? The placebo beer? effect. Just it's get a the placebo coat. effect. Yeah. A CBD joint. Bro, eat my ass. <laughs> crawl uh, crawl up into my bedroom at night and eat my ass. We're at a 420 show where there's drag queens with bags of fake marijuana and people dressed as pot leaves dancing, yeah, and you're yeah. gonna give me a CBD, CBD joint. CBD, CBD, hemp milk, hemp milk latte. Am I a Nikki fan? Hemp milk latte. Are you friends with Taylor Swift? <laughs> Are you friends with Taylor Swift? <laughs> Let's take a break. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Listen, it is so easy to get caught up in, uh, in what everybody needs from you and never take a moment to think about what you need for yourself, okay? Um, if you're a people pleaser, um, you may be preoccupied with all the different roles and responsibilities you have in your life. Uh, mother, sister, girlfriend, um, uh, CEO, et cetera, et cetera. But what about Susan? What about what does Susan need? Hello, Susan. What do you need? And what are, and how are you getting it? Think about it. When we spend all of our time giving, it can leave us feeling stretched out, thin, burnt out, taken advantage of, and just wrecked. Therapy can give you the tools to find more balance in your life. To um to to get a little uh give get a little take. Where's the balance, Susan? Where's the balance? So you can keep supporting others, but also keeping yourself nourished, taken care of, and recharged. Uh, therapy is an indispensable tool that has helped me so much in my life, I can't even explain to you, Susan. Um, it's important to have not just your friends and loved ones um, be a safety net, but also uh, trained professionals, trained professionals who can um, shoulder the burden of your um whatever you're going through so that your friends and loved ones don't feel uh, burnt out and, um, uh, you know, taxed. If you are thinking of starting therapy, why don't you try it today? Give better help a chance. It's entirely online. You don't need to leave the house. This is huge. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. All you need to do is fill out a brief questionnaire and you can get matched with a licensed therapist and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge or any reason whatsoever. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash ball today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash bald. Um, so the show was good. The, the night show before. Good. Wait, the show was good. The night before I got to see Blondie. Oh my God, 80 years old. Yeah, so Blondie, so good. So I the Greek. Okay. And it was a little triggering because Why? the greek is where we did the netflix uh standout special with all those comics oh my god the oh, one that's that ran right. really long let's say there was last minute changes there was at last that minute show. changes to the program that became very stressful to the performers yes and in that show i'm not going to point names i'm not going to point fingers and name names but in a big roster like that mm -hmm. where everyone's required to do a set amount of time mm-hmm Everybody went over, and everybody except me. And everybody complained about and going over. And then everyone over. complained about it running long. But they and were so going over. When we're a half hour over, and all the comics who went in the first half are like, wrap it up. I'm like, you did longer. You all did longer than we were supposed to. Yeah, this you is did all this. your fault. It's your fault. But it was great to be back, back at the Greek. It's outdoor theater. The air, nice and cold. Lovely. Darian, I'm with Darian. She's in a pink fur coat. I'm in a little, uh, it's nice and cold. Yeah, fabulous. They played all the hits I wanted to hear. Maybe I missed a couple that I would love to hear, but... They, I mean, it was just beyond. They start with one way or another. I love when bands have so many hits that they can start with a mega hit. Yeah. It's so exciting. Yeah, that's amazing. It was fucking cool. It's like when I saw the B-52s and they started with Private Idaho and I just started shooting cum. <laughs> like it was so good. So Blondie is, the original members are all getting up there in age. Mm -hmm. The only two original members were the drummer and Debbie Harry. Mm -hmm. And Debbie Harry, Heart of Glass, which is a mega hit. Y'all know Heart of Glass. You know it, sing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that song hit. It's like she's here, not because of the singing, because of the age. 
So <laughs> wasn't that good? It was really good. Thank you. Um, Heart of Glass was their first hit. It hit in 1979 mm-hmm. when Debbie Harry was already, I believe, 31. Fun fact. So people don't know, like she was 31 She's in 31. 1979. She was 31 in 1979. So that puts her in 2023. 80-ish? How old is Deborah Harry? 80ish. 80ish. And I'm only saying that because in 2000 in 1979 she was 31. How long how old is Deborah Harry in 2023? 77. Yeah, 77. 70 fucking seven. Yeah. On stage. Yeah. I'm, Real legs out. I'm, well, I'm sure she had tights on, but boot, black boot, black, like stretched black studded romper. Uh huh. Nice little like shape. Yeah. Wearing her real hair. I've seen okay. them twice before. Yeah. And both times she wore, I'm just going to say it, a party a blonde wig. party city wig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With sunglasses. Huge sunglasses. This time her real, her real hair all punked out mm-hmm. and the makeup, I believe Miss Guy did it, mm-hmm. snatched. Perfect for the giant space. She looked fucking mm-hmm. perfect. They sounded so good. The drummers up there in age two, throwing sticks in the air and catching them. The visuals were amazing. I ran into an issue, which was two, I'm just going to say it, two faggots. Two faggots, homo men. To the right homo of me and Darian man. did not have those seats. And so- Excuse me, what now? Justin Tranter's on one side of them and me and Darian on the other side. And there's two faggots in the middle of our row who just did not have those seats. And I know that because they just I had those seats. What, so did, the so whole what line, did you do? What did you do? Well, since it's standing, the whole line is like crammed together extra because these two faggots just did not have seats. Those are not your seats, Mary. So Dana and I were just like, so what can you do in that moment? Can I'm you, not going to be Karen. And I was going to say, is it leave? Karen? Is it Karen? I don't believe that it's Karen. And by I, the way, we weren't so in I the don't front believe row. that it's Karen. So it wasn't worth the lying and cheating. We were like in the back. So I'm just like, you don't have a ticket. And now Darian and I are like this close, which is fine. Love Darian. But like, you shouldn't be here, Mary. So what can you, I'm, this is like, I feel like this is something that people, this could be a learning lesson for someone, a teachable moment. Cause this would, this would perturb me to the max if I were you. And I would not say anything and I would let it, I would let it. You would leave early. I would leave, I'd probably leave early anyways, but I would I would use this as like oh there's my big there's my dog there's my dog bone I'm just gonna bite it and then go right like this is like a perfect excuse for me to leave right you know but so what what would you say like if you were another person what would you say to that person what would you say what would you say I could have said hey I think I have your seat what do you Here's mean I ticket. have your seat so yeah or I guess I shouldn't have said that I should have been like hey I think you're in my seat that would have been just the way to do it I guess I think you go to I think you get you get an usher. You get the government involved. I think you get the government involved. You get the feds up in there. Yeah. Because they're going to be like, let me see your tickets. I know. And they're going to be like, we don't have any. I know. And then they're going to get the fuck out of here. And they filmed almost fair. the whole concert, which I, I just fair. think. Fuck you. First of all, who's Sorry. who's watching concert footage back? Number one. Number two. How about how about the lady um, recording the. Oh, the, uh, the we got to talk about that. <laughs> we have to talk about that. Back to Plaza. Oh my God. Back to Plaza. So in addition to there's people on stage and maybe some people in the audience are taking stories of like, I'm at Plaza watching yeah, the yeah, show, yeah, yeah, watching yeah. the cabaret, yeah, yeah. a woman who works there, the the waitress, the waitress who could be getting me my water. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she's, she's walking around and I'm just going to do what she's doing. <laughs> so, and this is a podcast. So I guess I'll tell you too, but she, she has the flash on the flash on huge. IPhone. And she's it's dark. It's a club. Yeah. She's walking table to table smiling. and filming everyone smiling. Yeah. I'm not kidding. Two feet from them. Two feet from their face. Table to table. Everyone there. It almost, it almost, you know what to me it felt like? Evidence. Uh, it felt like evidence. Yes, because she I'm just was getting say, evidence. Yes, yes. Who is getting evidence? I'm just gonna say at that show, there's performances that maybe I wouldn't want to admit that yeah. I saw because they are a little over the line and wild. Over the line wild. Um I think during this time there might have been um a little person doing ISIS wings with a jock strap on that was barely hanging on to their physicality. It was, it was a, barely hanging on to their yes. physicality, if you know what I mean. Yes. There were there were cock and balls visible. Yes. The- <laughs> yes. It was a little person with ISIS wings yeah. and it felt like not ISIS I'm like an, terrorism. No, ISIS, ISIS being, like dra- Egyptian drag goddess. ISIS wings with those big. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And <laughs> we're all loving and living and laughing loving, and loving. loving but then when laughing. I start getting filmed, I start to feel, is this, Ex- am I being exploited? Is this blackmail? <laughs> like, exactly. 
are they going to make it seem like we forced someone into stripping for us? Like, what is this? I know. It was. It felt like evidence collection. And it felt she, like entrapment. She also had glasses on the bridge of her nose uh-huh. and the, the flash on. So she's just like, <laughs> it was so strange. It was Film, so crazy. The waitress. The waitress. She could have been getting that water, that bottle of water. A bottle of water. So going back to the, um, so kicking those people out of the no ticket having seats in the in the Greek. You know why he didn't say anything to why? you? Because you don't want to be a bitch. No, when the music started, he knew every word, and I was like, I'm not gonna like. Well, ruin- guess what? If you know every word, it's your responsibility to get fucking tickets to that show. I don't and then know, after whatever, that, I would personally kick them out. Hello, I'd be like, you're but not it, stealing this person's seat. But also, they're not. What are they gonna do? Sit on somebody? It's seated, seated theater. That's why I don't fuck around with standing. I do not fuck around with standing. But I don't either. And I said to Darren, I, I said, I hope when they shit. come out, I said, I hope when Blondie starts that everyone doesn't stand up. Everybody stands up. Everybody stands up. But, it, but this is what Everybody you need to know. Everybody stands this up. This is what you need to know. Everybody stands if up. If we sit, we can all see. Exactly. And we can sit. Mary, <sighs> why don't we sit at concerts? I'm sorry. I don't know. I know uh, it's horrible. And I play rock concerts. I understand it is more exciting for the performers when everyone's standing. It is. Yeah, 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 yeah. But... <laughs> That's why I miss Lana Del Rey. This is this is why I this is why. See, here's this is a perfect example of this situation. Perfect example, Lana Del Rey. Lana means Lana. She does the kind of music that would be perfect for a seated theatrical venue of the classiest variety. What name the classiest variety at theater you can? Let's say. Wangs in Boston. The, exactly. The um the the Wang Center, formerly the Wang Center. I can't remember, I don't remember where it is now. Good old Tremont Street or whatever. Beautiful, gorgeous, like ornate, ornate like absolute Rococo interior, Baroque, and it's it's just stunning. Boxes, loge, all that crap. Balconies. Sit down in your lovely little gown or your little tuxedo. And you get high on the beach. You get high on the beach. You watch that warbler come out. Warbler, she's in a half inch mule and her hair is laid and she goes, blue, blue, blue. She's in a linen gown. She's in a linen gown. She's getting suspended from the ceiling on, on she's getting, she's getting propped up on a grand piano and she is just warbling the blues. Seated, emotional, like a revelation. But her fans standing up. They're so consumed with their, they're, they're standing up no matter what. And they're screaming back every single lyric that she belts out. Every single fucking lyric. It's absolute horseshit. I would you never like see it? her. Never see her in concert for this exact reason. Ever, ever, the ever. Fans. The fans are absolutely garbage. If you Google Lana Del Rey, Brazil. They're just screaming. It's screaming. But Every single music, fucking lyric. Isn't it almost rude to scream over this type of music? Are you kidding? It's incredibly rude. I'm it's like sure that she hates shit. it. I'm sure that she hates it. She can't even hear herself. Yes, yeah, she can. She has ears in. It doesn't matter. They're screaming so loud. <laughs> they're screaming. They have hacked into her earpiece. The mainframe. <laughs> yes. And they're screaming directly into her. Into her That would be so cunty like, to like ah. hack into someone's. Because you know, those ears make yeah. you basically deaf to only your music. Yeah. It'd be great to hack into that and be like, hi. <laughs> hi. Hello. You look insane. <laughs> keep trying to dance, bitch. You know, I would love to do that to Taylor. Taylor Swift? Yeah. And be yeah. like, keep walking back and forth on that stage, bitch. <laughs> oh, you make it, You got to the front. Turn around and walk the other way, bitch. <laughs> oh, change tank tops, bitch. It's fine. You didn't need to style your hair. <laughs> yeah. You did not need to style your hair. Why start now? Yeah. 20 years into your career, why style the hair now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's crazy. But I but Blondie was good. But Blondie was good. But I wish, I also wish I want to sit and I want to enjoy. I want to like have my body be like calm so that I can take all my other senses can be enwrapped in the performance. Yeah, I want to be able to sit. I want to be able to sit. I want to be able to hear, see, and, and become emotional. Yeah. Because you better believe I'm becoming emotional. So the other part of this story is Darian and Peppermint and like people I was with, they all know Debbie. Because okay. a lot of New York people know Debbie. A lot of New York people. And it was one of those things where they were like, hey, do you want to come to the little hotel after Kiki, to Debbie's oh, hotel? Amazing. And I said, because I have rehearsal for Stagecoach the next morning, oh. I said, I can't. What a great what a great decision you made. I know. But I'm very also, surprised that you But did I'm, that. I'm being honest. It's because you didn't want to do drugs. When I like someone that much. Oh, you don't want to sell it. I'm yet. scared. Okay. I, I don't want to go through the emotional labor of having to meet someone I love that much. 
Also, you know what? I'm okay to love someone and let them let be. Let them be a fart. I, I let agree. Them be, let them be a fart? Uh, no, a far. Oh, a far. A yeah. far, a far. Let them be a fart. <laughs> I'm okay to let her be Debbie Harry and me be a, a fangirl. Yeah. And that distance is okay. Yeah. I feel about that. I feel that about a few people. Dolly. Yeah. You know, like people like that. Where I'm like, I feel I'm that way with- about, I feel that way about Bjork. And every time I get a text message from her, it feels like a prank call. I know. You know what I mean? Cause you yeah. have some famous people pranking you, not pranking mm-hmm. you, but calling you. <laughs> it's only when it's like out of left field and someone's really famous. And it's, it's always like a random text. And I'm like, it feels like pranky. It feels like it, pr- it, feels, it feels pranky. Yeah, it feels pranky. But that's also how I feel when I get DMs sometimes because I just assume nobody runs their own accounts anymore. Oh right, it's probably somebody gay. Hey faggot. Hey fierce. <laughs> hey fierce bitch. Hey fierce faggot. Shannon Elizabeth is living for your tea. <laughs> she wants you to come boots. <laughs> yeah. Hey fierce faggot. Hey fierce Shannon faggot. Elizabeth Shannon Elizabeth has been tea. living for your tea, <laughs> <laughs> and she wants you to come boots. <laughs> Slay. <laughs> Shannon Elizabeth. Icon. Alexis Michelle. Shannon Elizabeth. Alexis Michelle. I love good. Um, you know my favorite porn name is Jenna Jameson. Oh, yeah. yeah it's a yeah. great name. It's, it's fabulous. Also, Tracy Lords. As a porn name? You like the name? Just a regular name. Oh, Tracy Lords. Okay. Do you don't think Tracy Lords sounds like porny? Well, some people have names that you have to say both. Tracy Something Lourdes. in the rhythm of it. And Tracy Lords is one of those names where you have to say Tracy Lords. Tracy Lords. Jenna Jameson. I have to say David Silver. David Silver. I don't know why. Ashley Michelle. Alexis Michelle. Ashley Shannon Michelle. Elizabeth. No, that was that. Ashley Michelle was in a queen in Boston. Ashley Michelle. Is Alexis Ashley Michelle. Michelle. Yes, I know. It's this head scratch. Are you Mary Kate? Like an Ashley? Like it's, pick it's a name. A, it's a, well, she picked two. Sugar and Spice should be Ashley and Michelle. Ashley and Michelle. Ashley and Michelle. Mary Kate and Ashley. That's three people with two girls. What do you think about people who assert their middle name? My name is Sarah Michelle Geller. Do you know what I mean? What do you think? Tiffany of that? Amber Thiessen. What do you think of that? I think it's crazy. I think it is too. Well, also it's like um, it's uh, what's her name? Um, 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 uh, Sarah Jessica Parker. Sarah Jessica. We have to go talk to Sarah Jessica. Sarah <laughs> Jessica. That's baby, Ashley, that's Alexis S- Michelle. Sarah Baby Jessica Parker. <laughs> I think it's crazy. It's crazy. I think it's insane. It's really crazy. Tiffany Amber Thiessen, Sarah Jessica Parker. Yeah. Although I... Tiffany I, Amber? I guess we're all saying women's names. are the, Tiffany Amber? Michael Patrick King. Michael Patrick King? Uh, Dustin uh, Lance Black. Dustin like, Lance Black. Weird to have three names. Weird to have three names. Brian Joseph McCook. Brian Michael Ferkus. Brian Jordan Alvarez. Brian Jordan Alvarez. Weird. Freckle. Well, Freckle. that's easy. Freckle. 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 Loved... So you showed me... Um, uh, a, the, clip. a clip from the the sweet life of Cody Brown or whatever. It's called What's the it? something something of Caleb Gallo. The something something of Caleb Gallo. Control group. Control and control this group. Very talent. The, the gay, gay, gay and wondrous life of Caleb Gallo. The web series that I'm not kidding is probably eight years old now. I think it's probably more than that. Yeah. Control group. <laughs> control. Group. I can't type anything. Control room. 2016. So <laughs> seven. Whatever. Eight years old. I was right. <laughs> and <laughs> were you right? Was she right? Yeah. Okay. Brian good. Jordan Alvarez is in it. Yeah. Who is from? He's in Megan. He was in I Will think and Grace. He's so attractive. He's amazing. I think he's so attractive too. I think he's so. I think he's so attractive. Very I think handsome. He's so handsome. But you watch his Instagram for the comedy. He yeah, does yeah, yeah. characters using filters. So and they funny. Are sh- and one of them is me, Timothy, the bald one. The one with um the 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 source energy one. Oh, the, what, connecting the source um, energy. Marnie. Yeah, that's Marnie. Marnie is so. Marnie is the best. Do you but when I bought you. A, I bought you a cameo <laughs> yes. from Marnie. Marnie, yes, you did. And the video said Katya. I remember meeting you in Prague. <laughs> yes. You were walking into the ocean. Yes, it was something so crazy fierce. like that. So fierce. You're 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 reconnected with source energy. It's pure source screaming. Energy. Yeah. Brandon has a t-shirt of Marnie that says pure source energy. Yeah, it's fabulous. And it's him. It's this actress, Freckle. Freckle. Who has, Freckle. I mean, everybody in it is good. The Freckle, Freckle pieces resound. They're, they're so, so funny. funny. So funny. So funny. So funny. Sometimes things that are expensive are, are worse. <laughs> And she's really quite a beauty. Like she's gorgeous. The eye color, the skin, the lip, the gorgeous. hair. Gorgeous. Not a st- hardly any makeup on that gorgeous. face. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. And she plays this character so wild. So wild. I know this character. I know this person. Yeah. I know this person. This is a fully fleshed out person. There's a scene Freckle. where she's putting on like cold cream, and she goes, "God, that's a lot." And she goes, "With how much I drink, I gotta put the moisture back in." Yeah. 
So funny. So funny. Yeah. I've had eight glasses of wine. I've had eight glasses of wine. <laughs> yeah, good for her. Right. Freckle. Freckle. What Let's else? take a break. Let's take a break. This episode is sponsored by Etsy. Hey there, bald and beautiful listeners. I want to talk to you about Etsy. Everybody knows that I love to shop on Etsy for beautifully made items from independent sellers. Why? Because I am an independent woman. Etsy sellers have gifts, style, and home pieces like rugs and sofas, as well as outerwear and accessories. You can shop jackets, jewelry, furniture, art, and more made for every budget and any occasion. Personally, I'm always on the lookout for my next decor piece on Etsy as I continue to spruce up my new home. My page of likes on Etsy is filled with rugs, lamps, fireplaces, fruit barns, humdingers, and wagon wheels, and I am constantly debating buying them. They're all unique and they're all on Etsy. I have so many stories of the fabulous items I've purchased on Etsy. I literally just ordered a ginormous pictorial Turkish rug to go under my new kitchen table. You won't even be able to see it. It's crazy. Are you new to Etsy? Use the code NEW for 10% off your first purchase. That's code N-E-W. Maximum discount, value of $50. Offer ends June 30th, 2023. See terms at etsy.com slash terms. For home style and gifts, shop etsy.com. Etsy has it. Um, Ask me a question. <laughs> I have a question. I have a hot topic. Do you know about, do you know about the Budweiser thing? Are you kidding? Okay, so this Bud Light activist, Dylan Mulvaney, Dil- yes, TikToker and activist Dylan uh-huh. Mulvaney, uh-huh. Budweiser did like a little activation PR thing with yeah. them. Yeah, trans and, person, by the way, trans person, trans person. And by the way, every year, for every Pride, for decades, every alcohol brand gets involved in Pride. Of course, they want to dip in in the gay dollar, it's the not gay trans new. dollar. Yeah, it's not new. The LGBT in June means green. Yes. And every brand gets involved. Every beer, every liquor, every yes. wine. And it's it's gotten more and more so. Yeah. But I would say twenty years ago, yeah. beer shit was like for pride. Like yeah. it's when you play a Milwaukee Pride Fest, you will play the Miller stage. Or sure, like, you know, sure, like you sure. play the Anheuser Busch tent. Right. Yeah. So it's really cracky, bizarre, left field, and whack that conservatives are now like now the agendas come to beer. Yeah. Where I have gotta, you been? I have to dump out all of my Bud Light. And then not only that, I have to line up the bottles and shoot them with a rifle because my name is Kid Rock. Do you know about that one? What happened? Shooting, literally shooting, a, but is it Bud Light? Yeah. yeah. Shooting Bud Light cans or bottles with a rifle in protest. Should uh, kids even have guns? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That was good. <laughs> that was fun. I think it's so cr- I think everybody it's is just so stupid. It's funny because Everybody's it's like so stupid. every year like clockwork, every liquor brand doing gay stuff, Going doing gay, gay, stuff. gay stuff. And then for some reason, the LGBT. This person this something about this person and this scenario mm-hmm. made conservatives realize beer and liquor has been gay for a long time. Mama. This isn't new. Your favorite beer or whatever didn't pivot. Yeah. messaging this has been happening yeah 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 so Where you look you been? so stupid to be mad about it yeah also you're also just giving them tons of free press you know what i mean well apparently not because did you see the apology what apology honey baby darling kid when i rock tell apologized? you what you're about to be told kid, kid rock apologized he said no. sorry for shooting all those no, cans anheuser bush put out a statement they said we didn't know that dylan mulvaney was tran no i wish it was that simple it's crazier it says let me try to find it now, I understand these are big companies, whatever, 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 but I just want to, I want to prerequisite this by saying, if you're not, I'm just going to let you read it. Okay. As the CEO of a company founded in America's heartland more than 165 years ago, I am responsible for ensuring every consumer feels proud of the beer we brew. We're honored to be part of the fabric of this country. Anheuser-Busch employs more than 18,000 people and our independent distributors employ an additional 47,000 valued, valued colleagues. We have thousands of partners, millions of fans, and a proud history supporting our community's military, first responders, sports fans, and hardworking Americans everywhere. That's a very particular group there. But do you see how right it's a lot of words so far? Nothing has Nothing been said. Nothing has been said. We never intended to be part of a discussion that divides people. We are in the business of bringing people together over a beer. My time serving this country taught me, th- my time serving this country, serving this country. A lot of words here, 
lot of, lot of particularly chosen words here. Serving this country taught me the importance of accountability and the values upon which America has was founded. Freedom hard work, and respect for one another. As CEO of Anheuser-Busch, I'm focused on building and protecting our remarkable history and heritage. There's a lot of dog whistling going on. If you know what I mean. Do, no, do you see, how, do you see how they're on. not making a stance apologizing about gay shit, no. but they're saying, we have a proud history. We used to also be racist. You know what I mean? Like, yes, they're I don't dog know. whistling. Yes. They're dog whistling. They're like, hey, listen up, y'all. We actually hate trans too. Maybe not that, but they're not. <laughs> that my, my issue is, they're not doubling down and saying, you know what? We love everyone and we love Dylan. Eat shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. That would have been fine. I care or, deeply about this country, this company, and our, our brands and our partners. I spend much of my time traveling across America, listening to and learning from our customers, distributors, and others. Moving forward, I will continue to work tirelessly to bring great beers to consumers across our nation. It's not an apology. It's a nothing. It's nothing. It's a nothing. It's nothing. And that's what I find so offensive about it. It's you so wild. Because they could have doubled down and said, you know what? Pride Month is coming. Dylan is a person. Yeah. You don't have to have a beer with Dylan. Yeah. But whatever. Yeah. Eat shit. You have the freedom or, to go drink whoever with whoever you want to drink with. Or they could yeah. have pivoted and said, you know what? Our messaging is a little more conservative and we shouldn't have done that. And we don't like LGBT. Well, Do one or the other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this middle is, shit. This is a bunch this of like corporate, like, like it's corporate 30 dog people whistling. at a table typing this letter by letter being like, yeah, make yeah. sure you don't express yeah. any real okay. views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay, we have, we have to hit the buzzwords like serving, like the serving our troops, first responders, um, heritage, history, like all this, like this uh, sounds like the making of like a Kirk Cameron movie. It's like, it's crazy. And the issue is I personally... I feel in America that the average consumer increasingly wants brands to have almost like political identities. We sure. want to know that Kleenex also believes in gay marriage. Yeah, 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 or yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't care if Scott Towels or Brownie Paper Towels is sponsoring Pride. Right, right, I right. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the flip side of that is when I find out, I don't know, the CEO of this company is poaching exotic animals. I don't love it. Or when you find out that the CEO of this company is actively like, um, is is shoveling cash into focus on the family. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with a beer company like this, if your messaging has always been that you're almost like Dolly Parton or Beyonce, where you never really express a view, you sort right. of, if you were like Beyonce, do you like the gay? She'd be like. I think everyone deserves love and respect. Boom. Or Dolly would be like, Dolly, do you want gay marriage? She'd be like, I think everyone should be able to have the love they want. Yes. They yeah. say like an a, 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 around the, the phrase. Yeah, yeah. They're inclusive. And if you're going to be a beer company and when push comes to shove, you put out that straight coward shit, mm -hmm. then you should have never expressed an opinion to begin with, I guess. Yeah. If you're our allies when pride is coming and so we like things might happen attached to your brand, but you're not our allies when the hateful people that drink your beer speak up. Yeah. Then you weren't an ally, Mary. Yeah, well, that's what that's what's confusing to me about it. Ally because means when it's going good, right? That's what it means. I can just enjoy it while it's going good and then well, dip. That's, well, that's why I was so confusing about it because I was like, I just assume that they have a much more sophisticated PR machine that would could have and should have anticipated all of the blowback and the fallout and the, the negative repercussions from doing such a thing. But it seems like they were just kind of irresponsible and perhaps not that great. Well, I don't know. Dylan being on TikTok, being open about like basically the first person to basically on TikTok, at least day by day, talk about transitioning. Uh huh. Obviously Gigi did that on YouTube. Like it's happened yeah, yeah, a bunch yeah, of yeah, times, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I think that they probably thought that this is going to be the most like, Dylan's young, hasn't been canceled, doesn't have a potty mouth. Like, oh, right. Okay. I think they thought they were getting someone kind of Miss Squeaky America. Clean. Kind the, of Miss America. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But again, I'm just disappointed because what I would have loved to see if there was pushback was a complete double down of like, well, if you don't like gay people, don't drink our fucking product. Yeah. Or, sorry, you're right. We hate queers. I but mean, they're not going to do that. That yeah. word salad? It's crazy. It's unacceptable. It's the, it's the non-apology word, word salad that is filled with little dog whistles in it. It's filled with little I'm dog whistles. I'm glad you said that because I thought I was being biased. No, it's, it's it's all those words are carefully chosen. History, heritage. History and heritage? Yes. Founding fathers. Yeah. When everybody when anybody when anybody mentions the founding fathers, all they're doing is, is making a case for racism. Y yeah. It's all it is. Mary, those founding fathers were like they they were like raping black women. 
Hello, owning owning and raping people. black women. Yeah. And also the founding of Abraham Lincoln did not believe that black people were the same were human. But and by the way, finding fathers stealing. Founding. They didn't yeah. find anything. Yeah, it's so crazy. It's anything. so crazy. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. So I mean, it all comes back to Watchmen. <laughs> because one of the main things in that was nostalgia. When mm-hmm. you say you're nostalgic mm-hmm. about a certain time, mm-hmm. think about who that certain time was good for. Yeah. So when you say shit like our founding fathers, whatever. No. Wasn't it fun 150 years ago when you and a bunch of white men were allowed to enjoy this product? Like, yeah, yeah, don't yeah. Don't hearken back to that. If yeah. anything, you should be like, we don't yeah. talk about her. Yeah. Hello. It's interesting that you're proud to boast like your presence at a very unattractive time in American history, but you're quiet when it comes to how you feel about somebody who's transitioned on TikTok. I just find it gross. It's crazy. And I know that of a lot of compared to a lot of people, I'm kind of capitalist Barbie and it's not my best quality, but nobody forced you to have a conversation about how you feel about gay people. But once you put your toe in that door and they barked back, you just cowered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't like that. No, it's crazy. It's no spy spineless. 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 And they didn't even that word Craven. salad, even if you were gonna do word salad. Could have been better than that. Could have been way better than that. Could have been a little more pointed, a little had a point of view. Yes. That was like it all it did was like from from um uh now more than ever, from from the start, we've always been here. And we will continue to to be here. And thank you so much for all those others who were there as well. We'll see you there. What? Yeah. Leanne Womack, I hope you dance, <laughs> plays in the background. Like it was really <laughs> I just found the whole thing very cowardly. It's crazy. Yeah. And I know we, but, and cowardly. but again, maybe I'm being something I don't like about people, which is I expect brands to behave like people. These are companies. Well, if they're going to, if they're going to start, I mean, they are behaving like people, but that's the thing. Yeah. If you're social, cause social media accounts now, Fritos. Yeah. Fritos is like, is like has into a personality. Monday, like, yeah. Fritos has a personality now. You know who has all the personality on Twitter? Nabisco. Tushy. Tushy. <laughs> Do you follow Tushy's Twitter? Is it Tushy the porn site or Tushy the, the bathroom site? Tushy. The bidet. The bidet. Okay. Tushy's Twitter is, is, is like, mm, just woke up thinking about taking a poop. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Tushy's Twitter is like um, praying for all the girlies who still use paper on their anuses. Oh my God. It's really Ooh, crazy. that one burnt. Yes. Okay. Happy anal sex day. One word advice, lube. And Tushy responded, and a bidet. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? Tushy's wild. And I have a Tushy in that bathroom. It's incredible. Okay. Love it. During the pandemic, everybody's scrambling for toilet paper. I said, like, not over here. We're doing Noah's Ark up the ass. Okay. Not over here. We're Women doing, and children first. We're doing 28 days later. Oh, no. We're doing 2020. What was that movie? 2020. 2012. 2012. 2012. We're doing 2012. 2012. Oceans 11 Oceans up my ass. <laughs> I'm not worried about paper. Paper? What is that? Paper? Danny Ocean up the ass. We're anyway. going to go. We're going to go, but I just had to talk to you I, I mean, about I that Budweiser thing. I think it's just crazy. crazy. It is crazy. And by it's the way, crazy. we pre-taped these, obviously, so I'm sure this is like two-month-old news by yeah, the time yeah. this comes out. But Whatever. Well, listen, have a lovely brands, day. I just, encourage, it up. I, I just encourage brands, if you're not going to have the gall and the wherewithal and the gumption mm-hmm. to make a stance on something mm-hmm. and stay that, yeah. just don't make a stance. Just be and a brand. Also, if you're going to pretend to be a person, try having some integrity. That. You know? That. If you're gonna pretend to be a person, you tr- maybe try to have some integrity, just a little bit. Yeah. Or just to, or or I'm fine to just think of you as oh they just make beers. But if you're gonna try to have a personality yeah. and values, yeah, don't then be a chicken have shit. Some. Yeah, you have to have some. Blue. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs>